Guys, what is up? Back at you once again. It is ya yeah boy, Chin, that freaking Mark. And excuse me for the lack of backdrop and all that good nonsense. To be honest with you, I'm just kind of in a rush, so I gotta get through it. Let's get to busting this here nut. So, yeah, first up, opening this here night of the smack and graps we have, it's basically Kofi and Michael Cole in the ring giving us a high and lows of Kofi's recent career recap. And you know what? Kevin Owens comes out to basically be a dick. Xavier Woods tries to put a whooping on him, and it doesn't really work out for much more than Xavier Woods eating a super kick. So, sorry, buddy. Next up, we have Becky versus Bailey in what was a pretty good match. It did end with uh, Becky just completely no selling uh, elbow from Bailey, however, because she just rolled her ass right into a disarmor. And then, as soon as Bailey tapped, Charlotte came out to show who's dominant in a match that she wasn't even in. Alistair Black is still cutting some super serious promos, and the Hardy Boys did unfortunately have to come out to relinquish those titles that they didn't even get a chance to defend because of injury that Jeff Hardy had sustained due to Lars Sullivan. Yeah, okay, but they do work it into the story because Lars comes out, and then R-Truth comes out because he's got beef with him, and yeah, it was a whole thing. Lars punched a chair. We also find out that Mustafa, Finn Balor, Andrade, and Randy Orton are going to be in the SmackDown side of the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, so hell yeah. We then have Asuka and Kairi versus some jobbers. This match was super quick, just finished up by uh, Asuka and Kairi. And it was just our women's tag team champions, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, just being obnoxious as all hell on commentary the whole time. And that's all there really was to this match. Yeah, so I'll tell you right off the bat, there was some things that I missed on this next part, because I was just kind of fast-forward watching through it, because again, I got some shit to do, but it's a nice little arguing uh, segment here between Shane and Roman, and Shane brings out the B-team, like there's supposed to be something, like some kind of unholy thing to be reckoned with, and it was kind of weird. He also brings out Elias, because that's his new friend, and like, there was some ref shenanigans in the match that happened because of this, because, you know, Shane just likes to make a handicap for no reason. Elias became a ref, more shenanigans, you know, Elias gets his ass taken out. Roman Reigns is in this match, okay? So you know who's going to win? Roman Reigns. That's what happened. Roman Reigns prevailed. Roman Reigns... Roman Reigns. Next up, we have Mustafa and Finn going up against Orton and Andrade. This is basically a match just to tease the men's Money in the Bank participants that we have here. And it was a really good match. I mean, look at the participants. It's basically our upper to mid card guys that we have going around here. And faces win. It was pretty straightforward. Orton has to get an RKO in as soon as the match is done, so he does that. But Ali just kicks the fuck out of his face for doing so. So... On behalf of everyone, Mustafa Ali, thank you. And then, in the backstage area, Carmella and Ember Moon are cutting promos all talking about the Money in the Bank match, and they loosely mention Ellsworth for a second. Huh. And then our main event for the night was the KO Show, featuring an Xavier Woods and Big E action figure battle pack combos, is what I think they were. But it was just, yeah, a talking segment for a main event. Kevin Owens is talking a bunch of shit. Kofi Kingston came out because he doesn't like when people talk shit about his friends. And he put a beating down on Kevin Owens because that's what happens sometimes, bud. Guys, and there we have it in a super condensed nutshell for you. It has been a nutshell nonetheless. How am I going to rank it? Mmm, Dees. Going to say Dees because I only half ass paid attention and I didn't see anything that was mind-blowing. The Firefly Funhouse, whatever the fuck happened again too. So there you go. That got mentioned. Yep. Next time it won't be so half-assed. Diggity will be here tomorrow. What do you know? Until next time, it has been your boy, Chin, that freaking Mark, half-assing some graps. Bye now. <laughs>